Six new constables for the Lethbridge Police Service and one for the Blood Tribe Police Service were led in by bagpipes and drums as they marched into a new career as police officers. Acting Sergeant Shane Kissinger with the Lethbridge Police Service says the application process was a lengthy one. It involves a lot of different steps in interviews and polygraph and psych tests. So when they go through all that and they're finally selected and they hit the academy, they go through 22 weeks of uh, very formalized training that is conducted by and ran by the college and each one of the partnerships uh, facilitates it. So this year, we facilitated the Lethbridge Police. Local dignitaries also made the trip for the ceremony, including the Alberta Justice Minister and Solicitor General, Tyler Shandro, Lethbridge MP Rachel Thomas, Lethbridge East MLA Nathan Newdorf, and Lethbridge Mayor Blaine Hagan. Kirsten Barwagen is joining the Blood Tribe Police Service as a new constable, and she says she's proud to join a police force that consists of female officers making up a third of the force. So it's going to be very cool to work with some um, incredible females as well and, and just to learn experience from them and how they do it. Kai Striegel, a constable with the Lethbridge Police Service, graduated at the top of his class and was the recipient of the Top Cadet Award. I feel very honored. Um, to be honest, it's been it's been really good, but uh, it's been a great group uh, of cadets. The seven of us have been um, working so well together and it's gone so smoothly. The Lethbridge Police officers have an additional three weeks of in-house training and 18 weeks of field training ahead of them before they're ready to hit the streets. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn. Thank you.